UX and uh, who is a UI UX designer and an yeah. overview of Adobe XD. Yes, sure. Okay. So uh, have you used the uh, XD tool before? No, never. Okay, okay, fine. So we'll start with it. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes, I can see. Okay. So uh, let's understand what is UI UX before. So uh, let's get a basic understanding. Uh, whatever you have at your home, hmm. there are uh, basic things. Like if you see your switchboard. Yes. So that also has a UI UX property. So if, if you uh, look at properly, whenever mm. you interact with it, do you yeah. find any kind of a difficulty interacting with it? No. You have a better understanding of how the things work. Yeah, but because there's a response. Uh... Yes. So but what is it that makes you understand it? So that is the main question which you need to ask yourself before interacting with things. Hmm. So switchboard is a very, very simpler example of understanding UI UX. So yeah. if you look at a switchboard, yeah. that is your basic user interface. Correct. It has switches. It has a uh, layout in which the switches are uh, uh, put. Yeah. You can say how they are placed hmm. and you have a user experience. Whenever clicking on a switch, you get a proper feedback out of it. But right. what is that feedback? The switch gets turned on, so the placement mm. is changed. Not yeah. the entire placement of the switch, but the knob. Yes. And you get a feedback by lights or whatever fan, if it is a fan mm. or if it is a LED light or something yeah. else. So you get a basic feedback out of it. Yes, so, UI and UX, uh, they both are interlinked, but are very separate from each other. Hmm. If you uh, look at that switchboard, but if you see that switchboard is evaluated in the past, if you see uh, there was knobs. Yeah, which we shifted upward and downward hmm. after that. Uh, evolution came uh, for the UI and the switchboard is uh, entirely different. The design yeah. is entirely different with the modern trend. But right. that basic understanding of the knobs that it should be switched mm. up and downwards, that basic mm. under understanding is with us from that day. So today when we interact with those switchboards, mm. we don't hesitate and we don't uh, need to uh, uh, make people uh, tutorial. We, we don't need to give them a tutorial to understand how the switchboard will work because mm. they have that pattern in mind. So that Hi. is your user experience. Yeah. With very less uh, UI, you mm. get a you you give a user a very good uh, effectiveness Ex mm. and experience. Yeah. So that is your user experience. So this is this was a basic example of understanding UI UX, and there are multiple UI UX uh, examples in your household. If you see, so there's one more. Uh, if you see your doors, mm. so doors also have a particular layout, a particular uh, height, and a particular placement of the knobs. You have a handle. You have a rounded knob. Uh, mm. You sometimes you don't have anything. You just yeah. need to push the door. So you have just a push uh, layout over there. Mm. So that basic understanding is given us by the UI and the placement of things. Yeah. And the user experience is the pattern. How we interacted with the door previously that mm. uh, recall values in our mind and we interact with the door. Yeah. But uh, there's there's one more thing uh, <laughs> which we face difficulty in is uh, if you see the taps, 
Yeah. The water taps. Hmm. So basic water taps are the one which we rotate and we get the force of water out of it. But sometimes there are uh, sensory taps. Yeah, so, you just. Uh, you don't hand. understand how the thing will work so that yeah. is a bad user experience but we can improvise it by uh, instituting the user how the thing will work correct so looking at this basic things we come to an understanding of how the things are placed and why the things are placed and how can the things be made effective yes so uh, you can make a note of things which you find interesting in a UI UX way. Like I said, I gave you two, three examples. Yeah. You can uh, look around yourself and mm -hmm. see things that you feel are different from the digital UI UX layouts, which we which will will be doing, but are present in our daily lives. OK, so uh, UI UX which we'll be doing are the digital interfaces, your microsites, your apps and yeah. your other stuff. Hmm. But there is UI UX present in our daily things. Exactly. So why is it important to understand those things? Because that understanding will help the users to interact with the digital interface. All right. So how how both the things are in interlinked? So switches are the daily interactions yeah. you will see those switches on your website as well knobs yeah. which you rotate those kind of knobs you will see on your websites or your apps as well hmm. so real life examples will help you to create that user interface and that ux in your digital product yeah so so far is it clear to you uh, with the yes. basic? Yes, yes, I understand. Okay, so if you have any kind of a question, you can anytime ask me. Okay. Yes, yes, I'll definitely ask you. Okay, so uh, with those examples, we understood what is UI and what is UX. So we'll look at a definition. So user interface, UI is the space where interaction between human and machine occur. So with an example of a switchboard, hmm. we interacted with the switches. That okay. is your UI. We interacted with that UI. Yes. So interaction between a human and the switchboard, the machine, yes. occurred. That is your user interface. Yes. So what is your user experience? User experience is about how a user interact with and experience a particular product, system or service. So when you clicked on the switch, yeah. the user got a prompt feedback and experience. Yes. So that is your user experience. So user experience is defined in a very uh, elaborated way, which we'll understand further in the course. Mm. But this is a basic definition of it. So what, whenever you are interacting with the thing, Hmm. You're getting a prompt which which is making you understand that okay, this thing <coughs> will go this way. So that is your user experience. Hmm. So if if we take an app which we use on a regular basis, uh, if you can say it is a WhatsApp app. Hmm. Okay. Whenever you type a message and enter it, you get a one tick, gray tick. Yeah. Then there's two gray ticks which indicates that your message it's is really sent important. to that user. Hmm. Right. Then you get a blue tick. Okay. Yeah. So that makes you understand that your message has been read by the other person. Yeah. So so there's there was a person who designed that little interaction. That Correct. is your UI UX designer. Yeah. So UI UX designer do simple things, but that makes uh, the effectiveness of that product very good. Hmm. So by adding those ticks, dot, those minimal ticks, hmm. uh, the user will get uh, the understanding of how it is working, how, when the message is sent, when the message is delivered to the user, when it is read, 
you get all the understanding by those tricks only so that right. is your ui ux designer hmm. who did that stuff for you so as a ui ux designer you are uh, creating minimal things but which makes your product very effective okay. got it so uh, when for for industries uh, when we see uh, if you apply for a job uh, there are many positions which we mm. get confused with it is a ui designer it is a ui ux designer it is a ux designer it is a product designer so what are all these things so i'll just give you a basic uh, overview of it ui designer is mm. the one who design all the elements which are present on the interface okay okay so if you see that whatsapp app yeah so you have a, a area field where you type your message you yes. have your send button mm. you have your blank canvas <coughs> where all the chat history is available so all that things is designed by your ui designer okay then there comes a ux designer who as i said are the ticks correct so that interaction is designed by the ux designer so sometime it happens that uh, in a smaller organization you do the ui work also and the ux work also in my case i do both the things i do the ui work and the ux work okay. ux work uh, as a ux designer you take care of the ui part also but you take care of the research part also so you do the research for uh, what kind of an app it is uh, what will be the user and all that stuff and for the yeah. ui designer you just need to focus on the visual elements and how good they can appear and how effective they can appear and so now uh, coming... is it... yeah yeah no sorry to interrupt i'm saying is it like uh, the responsive part of it is done by the ux designer yes so okay. yes so uh, see uh, the thing is responsive when it comes to feedback yeah so uh, if if i am sending a message and if i am getting a feedback that is an interaction and what interaction will there be displayed if i uh, if there's a form let's for an example if there's a form i fill in my name i fill in my yeah. details all the details and i submit whatever feedback is there the pop up or a welcome page that all uh, is designed by a ux designer but the look and feel of it uh, what kind of a color yeah. it will be if uh, will the form have rounded edges what field it should be will it be gray field or a blank white field that all yeah. is done by a ui designer Okay. So, like for a basic the color combination, the shapes, how it should look, and all. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, UI designer is basically your all the elements, all the visual things, all your colors, imagery, and everything is your UI designer. Your UX designer is all the interaction, all the flows, or uh, how the flow of the website will be, how your flow of the web uh, uh, app will be. what kind of a feedback the user will get when he is interacting where uh, where the placement of the button and information will be that all is your ux designer okay. as per okay. the uh, blueprint given by the ux designer ui is created okay okay so let's uh, understand one more thing that is your product designer hmm. product designer is uh, uh, need to understand the ux part also and the ui part also but there are more uh, interaction with the stakeholders there are more interaction with the management there is the more interaction with other departments as well so that is a complete package so 
that is for the product designer. So we'll not go uh, more detailed into the product designer because we are more concentrating on the UI UX designer. So you got the basic understanding of uh, what is the UI designer and what is the UX designer, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So if you have any question, you can ask me anytime. Yes. Okay. So difference between UX and UI. So what a UX designer does. See if you can see. Uh, is my screen visible to you? Yes, yes, it is visible. Okay. So UX designer take in consideration the company goals, user research, competitive analysis, and information architect. So all these things, a uh, UX designer need to understand and create a basic wireframe of. Uh, the analysis and the understanding and the research which he's done, he creates a basic wireframe out of it, and that wireframe yeah. is given to a UI, UI designer. Okay, UI designer. Yeah. Yes. That if if we have a bigger organization where a where a UX designer is different and a UI designer is different, then this comes in picture. If in my case I do the both part, so. UX and UI uh, research part and the visual element part both are done by me. Okay. Huh. So see what a UI designer does. UI designer does the layout, visual design, your pattern design and the branding. Okay. We'll, we'll uh, go through all these terms in detail uh, further in the course. This are just for basic understanding what a UI designer does and what a UI designer does. If you are a UI, UI, UX designer both, then yeah. what all things you need to do? Correct. Yeah. But you you need to know what a UX designer and a UI designer do in different. Yes. Otherwise, things get confused because uh, if we apply for a job, then the description uh, we see it's all combined. Yeah. You need to do the UX also, you need to do the UI also, you need to do the graphic design also. So to uh, get rid of that confusion, you need to understand this. Yeah. So we'll go uh, further into it, but someday. <laughs> yeah. So th these are the basic terms because uh, all these terms have a very uh, detailed things which we need to understand. So, but mm. these are the basics. So you can have these basics in your mind to distinguish between. But uh, there are many things in it which will uh, do further in the course with the product which we'll create. So, but, how we'll go is that uh, we'll be doing the UX, and with that UX analysis, we'll be creating a UI in okay. Adobe XD. And okay. With that, we'll be understanding uh, what are the terminologies used and uh, how uh, we need to uh, give hand over it to and give it to the other department to work on it. Okay. I have it now. Do Hello. Hello. There is a disturbance. Uh, yeah. Yeah, now it's fine. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. tell me. Uh, so over your UX and first U UX is then then UI. Yes. Okay. So uh, UX first all, in UX first all the pointers that you have uh, shared those are kind of the research uh, basis of it. Yes. So after on basis of that you do the UI. Yes. Uh, where you design the layout and all. Now right. I think after this again UX will be there means like for the responsive design bit of it. Uh, see, uh, in UX design, uh, what a UX designer does is your research. When the research is done, he creates wireframe. Wireframe is your rough layout. Uh, he, it can be done uh, on Adobe XD itself or via a pencil sketch on the notebook. Okay. Okay. With that rough wireframe, uh, if the if it is an app, he creates a multiple rough wireframe of it. Uh, he uh, creates a user flow of each and every screen. 
Okay. So whenever there is a button or whenever there is an information involved. Hmm. So when clicking on that button, what prompt or what feedback the user will get that okay. is done by a UX designer. So all the micro interactions and all the flows and all the feedbacks is yeah. decided by a UX designer. And okay. after that blueprint and the wireframe is done. That is handed over to the UI designer. Okay, and what yeah. the UI designer does, he takes in the consideration of like uh, if company has a brand guidelines or a design system or yeah. any kind of a visual uh, feedback or right. visual brief which is given by the stakeholder and the company mm. that he takes in consideration and he creates a UI based on the blueprint and wireframe given by a UX designer. Oh, okay. so if you're doing both, then the process will be like you do the research part first, then yeah. you create a wireframe yeah. as per that research. Yeah. When cre after creating those wireframe, you uh, if it if it has a multiple screens, then you need to create a flow also. Okay. So yeah. how the screens will link from uh, one another if there's a button what kind of an interaction with that button give will it mm -hmm. redirect to other screen or will there be a feedback uh, on that screen it, itself that all need to be done by the uh, by you first and after doing all that uh, you need to uh, take in consideration your branding and guidelines yeah. and as per that you need to create an interface so okay. that's the process uh, we'll uh, do it uh, one by one, we'll go in that flow only, uh, yeah. which I said just right now. Okay. We'll do in, uh, we'll go in that flow to uh, get a detail understanding. And what we'll do, we'll do a project. So, uh, uh, what I did as a freelancer, I also work as a freelancer for UI UX. What uh -huh. I did is, uh, I'll be creating a product with you you also select a product i'll, I'll let you know uh, how what kind of a product you need to do and how uh, when creating a product you need to do the research will uh, will take that in consideration but we'll do it in the next class correct okay. okay so so the basic flow is like that after creating the ui you give that uh, assets to the development team. So this is a basic uh, flow, linear flow which we do in our organization. And uh, there's a uh, there's many processes for different different organization. And uh, there are many things which a UI UX designer does. He also does the user testing. He also take the user interviews. He also uh, do the uh, Play Store reviews, uh, research, and all that stuff, and he improvised the UI and UX for multiple apps. So that way, you get updates of your apps multiple times. If you see on your mobile, you get updates yeah. for your apps. Correct. Yeah. So that is a cons consistent uh, uh, upgradation of that UI. The UX and UI designer does that thing re on a regular basis. Uh, takes the feedback of the users and improvise their their UI UX. So we'll we'll okay. understand all that stuff, but uh, slowly and gradually. Okay. So uh, any questions? Yeah. Got. Uh, so, can you come again? Actually, oh, I think the voice got come. On which part uh, are we broken? Uh, the last one only. Okay, so uh, uh, on Play Store, whatever feedback the user gives whenever we launch a product, so that feedback yeah. is taken in consideration and the UI UX is improvised and you get an update okay. on your mobile app or website or whatever. Yeah. So we'll take uh, those things and we'll understand it in further lecture in a elaborated way. So this yes. was a basic overview of okay. how the things are done. So far, any questions?
हेलो तन्वी हेलो I can hear you, Rajesh. I think it's some network I... issue from her side. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. I think she'll rejoin or something like that. Okay. Three yeah. attendees. Hello. Hi, Tanvi. Can you hear me now? Hello. Hello. I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yes, we can, can hear you now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Can we? Hello. No, I think we've, oh, she's still facing a network issue. Can we, if you can hear us, so you can yes, leave I the meeting and join again. Okay. 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 Because we can't hear you actually. Okay. Now we can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So uh, okay. this fine. is Adobe XD's basic uh, overview which I'm sharing. Screen is not visible. You have screen is not visible. Uh, we. Ha, so what is visible right now is the PPT. Okay. You have to shift uh, the share from PPT to. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Software. Yes. Yes. Or else there is an option in it of sharing the desktop. Then the entire desktop is shared. Usually, then whatever you change or share, okay, automatically okay. It picks up that. Yes, yes. Okay. So can you can you see it right now? Yeah. Yes. I can see. Okay. So we'll uh, see a basic overview of how Adobe XD looks. So yeah. this is how the interface is. So you have here uh, your tools on the left hand side. Your move tool, your all the basic shapes, your pen tool, text, artboard, and zoom in, zoom out. So these are the basic tools which we have. Uh, you must be familiar uh, with uh, some of the tools because these are uh, very similar to Illustrator and Photoshop. Yeah. We have uh, on on the left bottom side. If you see uh, the assets, these mm. are the assets uh, which we'll be creating. We have layers over here. Whatever things you create that is created in layers. So okay. there's a layer thing and you have home. After that, there's design, prototype and share. So we'll go uh, in one by one. Uh, first, we'll be designing. So we'll take care of the design part. So we are into the design tab right now. And if you see on the right hand side, we have a play button. This play button is uh, basically used for prototyping and seeing how the prototype works, but we'll uh, see in, in further classes. Yeah. So we have alignment tools over here, yeah. basic alignments, grid, and your uh, shape uh, creation tools like uh, you have uh, used in Illustrator that Pathfinder, where you yeah. can combine shapes, separate. Uh, it intersect and all that stuff is over there. Hmm. We have basic uh, properties of uh, whatever shape we create over here. So if you see these are the properties over here. Hmm. After that are the appearances. Uh, how will it be opacity blend modes, your colors, your hmm. border, what kind of a border it will be shadows and all that stuff. So this is oh. the basic uh, layout very simple very clean very minimalistic but it gives a great output yeah when I, when we'll be starting with this 
so uh, we'll be creating a basic wireframe uh, before designing a full uh, fidelity design okay we'll we'll be doing a rough uh, user research a user persona as per that user research and persona will be creating a rough uh, wireframe and yeah. after creating those rough wireframe will be uh, creating a ui proper full fidelity ui after doing that we'll be doing prototype and after that we'll be sharing so we'll go from first design tab yeah. after that to the prototype tab and after that to the sharing tab correct so we'll cover that all in other class. So this is a basic overview. Do you have Adobe XD tool with you? No, I haven't downloaded that yet. Okay, so uh, you can download it. It's I think it's free from Adobe uh, for some time. So you can download it from Adobe website also. Okay. Or I else, uh, Mahesh sir, do we have any provision to share Adobe XD tool? Hello. My sir is not there. Uh, uh, Tanvi, you are also, you can, yeah. also like uh, on laptop it is like compatible, right? Like it won't get stuck or something. No, no, no. I am no. using this uh, entire tool on laptop. It is very laptop. handy. Yeah, okay. it is very handy. It uh, doesn't require much of your uh, uh, high end uh, graphics and all that stuff. It can be done on very basic level because uh, okay. uh, it requires uh, see in Photoshop. What we do is we create or pixel basis stuff. Okay. Right, and yeah. in Adobe XD, it is purely uh, your vector base like an illustrator. So okay, illustrator yeah. also has uh, also take uh, more of your RAM, but Adobe XD is very light. Mm -hmm. It has minimal features and whatever things which we'll be doing uh, mm -hmm. will not uh, hamper your uh, RAM or your uh, system um, performance. So uh, with minimal uh, configuration, you can get maximum output. So Adobe XD is compatible for uh, your laptop and it can also be done on your mobile also, but mobile is just for your user testing. Uh, we cannot design it on mobile. Mobile, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll look into it. We'll just. Uh, that is, uh, is there a specific configuration requirement for the laptop or how is it? No, no. So you don't require any kind of a specification. You, if you have an 8 GB RAM or 4 GB RAM, then also it uh -huh. will work. But if it is 8 GB RAM, then it is very good because you'll not face any lag. If you have a 16 GB RAM laptop, then it is very good. OK, OK, Mini oh, so that is the best and 8 GB is enough. Yes, yes, 8 GB is enough. 4 GB will work. Yes, it will work. There will problem in it. And there will be no tools, mein, uh, filters and all of this stuff. Nahi hai. So, Basically, we are layouting it. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. Basic layouts and basic codes ke through Sara design prototyping sub kuch ho jayega. So itna mm -hmm. zada uh, computer load lega hi nahi. Right, right. Got it. Thanks. So this is the basic for today. Okay. Uh, so sir, uh, uh, koi bhi way se uh, XD software agar Tanvi ko provide ho sakta hai ya download karke ho sakta hai to fir aage wali class mein. Oh, Tanvi, you have it or how is it? No, I haven't like downloaded it yet. Okay. Uh, uh, can you check uh, jo ispe, uh, if you are having a suit? I think suit mein hota hai na, Rajesh. Wo? Yes, yes. Suit mein hota hai. So if you check, it is already installed. Okay. You mm -hmm. have Photoshop and all that as well, right? In yeah. your laptop. Hmm. Yeah. So that suit ke andar hi wo aata hai usme. Okay, I'll check that. Mm -hmm. check Agar, that. Tanvi, you have creative cloud. Hai, aapka hai? Adobe, uh, hai, ya hai? Uh, CC or CC? CC. Okay. 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 Okay.
सीसी वाला है ना देन यू विल हैव अ क्रिएटिव क्लाउड मैनेजर सो उसके अंदर इफ यू गो यू विल हैव मल्टीपल अडोबी का प्रोडक्ट देर यू विल सी एक्स डी ऑल्सो सो यू कैन डाउनलोड इट फ्रॉम देर ओके ठीक है So far, any doubts? Any question? No, Rajesh. It was pretty much clear. Okay. Good to hear that. Today, actually, uh, I'm I'll be joining Nayika as a executive design. Okay. Uh, so like in the assignment also, I had uh, I had it related to the layouting and all. so mm-hmm. basically like they had asked me to uh, design for a app okay. there was a yeah there was this like a lingerie page of theirs which they asked mm-hmm. me uh, to design it for mobile view and not for desktop view okay yeah so like that i had given them and posed that like mm-hmm. all the assessment and everything mm-hmm. like it went uh, well and all okay so uh in the next lecture you can share the design if you like and we'll interact with uh, those design also if you want yeah sure you can like yeah if there is any uh, input so any message sure uh, see uh, how it it will work is if you share your design we'll get a basic understanding of how you are perceiving that you are correct yeah so we'll we'll know on what base you are on Yes, yes. So as per that, uh, I'll be knowing that uh, okay, she understands this much. So no. we'll we can go more further into it. Got it. Got it. Okay. okay. So you can design those screens uh, in the next yes. session. Yes. And uh, okay, we'll see. Okay. Till then, you get your Adobe XD software. So uh, no. next class onward, we'll be starting with Adobe XD. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Okay. Bye. Sir, is there anything? I think my sir. Sir is on hold. Or. Tanvi, till then what you can do is uh, you can uh, list down all the basic things, not your digital, but your as I said the basic UI UX uh, examples for your understanding. Yeah. So okay. that will help you understand the UX part also. Got it. Like uh, in the sweet board case, the uh, doors, your tabs. and all that stuff you will get an understanding of how a uh, user perceive things and how we need to design things so that uh, user get an ease while interacting with things yes okay i'll note that okay and you can also what you can do is you can note down uh, the mobile apps mm. which uh, which you like Uh, which you feel are very good in UI and UX ways. So you get an you got an understanding of the UI UX, right? So yeah. you can list down all the apps which you have on your mobile. Not no need to download other apps on your mobile. Yeah. You feel like these apps are good, so you can oh. list down all that app and will research on that app and will uh, get an understanding of how they have designed things and how. we can uh, take uh, understanding from those apps and create our own design yes yeah okay okay hi sir is there anything else okay i think he is uh... he got hold i think okay then we Let's wrap it up for the day. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Yeah. I All think right. next class will be uh, on Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Okay.